Next week, I am back in the frozen north, and Sue is looking at the disturbing subject of swans and the effect that lead has of them. In the meantime, goodbye, have a good week. We'll see you next Friday. Bye bye. Uh, waiter. Anyway, there's no one in the coffee shop at the moment, as you can see. Uh, tomorrow morning, it'll be packed with people, and Martin Fry from ABC, Mitch Yore from Ultravox, and David Attenborough will be here. And David will be showing us more and talking about extraordinary scenes like this. Starting on Monday, the adventures of Tin Tin. When Tintin bought a model of the unicorn, he found in the broken mast a parchment. It was a pirate treasure map. Tintin learned that a relative of Captain Haddock, Red Rackham, had been attacked at sea by pirates who were after his hold full of treasures. In the battle, Red Rackham's ship was blown to bits, sending the treasure to the bottom of the sea. Also starting on Monday, Totty, the story of a doll's house. There we are. Oh dear, oh dear, oh look at that, all broken and torn, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Stop saying oh dear. But what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? All we can do is wish. Ready, Miss Popper? Next Wednesday, Rent-A-Ghost returns. Bullseye! <laughs> My game, McQuid. Congratulations. Well sneezed, Miss Popper. My pleasure, darling. <laughs> She's the only jet-propelled ghost I know. Four highlights of the coming week on BBC One. Now it's time to catch up with the latest goings-on at Grange Hill. <laughs> Uh, 50p till tomorrow.